In this video, we're going to explain the working principles of a single vein rotary actuator and its benefits. In hydraulic and pneumatic systems, the rotary actuator plays the role of a scotch yoke. While a scotch yoke produces linear reciprocation motion, a rotary actuator produces circular reciprocation motion. What we mean by circular reciprocation motion is that the actuator turns forwards and backwards at an angle constrained by its construction, similar to a car's windshield wiper. Depending on how an actuator is designed, we may end up with 90, 180, 270, and occasionally slightly more than 360 degrees of swipe angle. However, as long as the design allows, you can produce any angle in the range of 0 to 360 degrees. In this video, the vane makes a 300 degree rotation. When the high pressure flow coming from the four-way valve is connected to port A of the rotary actuator, the port B releases low pressure oil to the tank. This causes the actuator to rotate in a clockwise direction in the animation. In the counterclockwise rotation, roles of port A and B are reversed. One may design a circular reciprocation system by using hydraulic or pneumatic cylinders. Then why is there a need for a rotary actuator? First, a rotary actuator makes the system much simpler than custom-made cylinder-based rotary actuator. More important than that, the rotary actuators generate constant torque on the output shaft at all times, which cannot be achieved in most cylinder-based actuators. However, a rotary actuator is usually less efficient than the cylinder-based counterparts and might be more expensive. While the rotary actuators can be manufactured both for hydraulic and pneumatic applications, there are some differences in their behavior. While the pneumatic rotary actuator goes from one end of the circular reciprocation to the other end very rapidly, it is harder to control its position. It is also harder to hold the pneumatic rotary actuator at a certain angle due to the expansion ability of the air. On the other hand, hydraulic-based rotary actuators will not have these adverse constraints. The speed of the hydraulic ro rotary actuators can be controlled accurately and it can be stopped at the desired angle. To position control, we must use three position valves instead of two position valves shown here. The one drawback of the single bladed rotary actuators is the unbalanced force applied to the rotary shaft, which may ruin bearings of the system and they may wear out prematurely. Thank you for watching our videos. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.